Well, two of the top teams squaring off in the A-Sun tonight, and Kennesaw State gets the upper hand over Lipscomb three games to one. Justin Seaman alongside Lindsey Rowley now joined by head coach of the Lipscomb Bisons, uh, Coach Brandon Rosenthal. And Coach, uh, it's one of those games, it's really here for the taking, but uh, kind of some key points just execution-wise, just couldn't always put it where you needed to. Yeah, you know, first you got to give credit to Kennesaw. I thought their defense was great, and, uh, you know, they continued to put pressure on us. I thought we had a couple different opportunities to really make our mark, and we didn't execute, as you said. And uh, that's going to be tough against a team that, uh, you know, played as hard as they did. So, you know, the tough part for us right now is as we kind of get people back from injuries, we got, you know, another new lineup in. That's not an excuse, but, you know, we kind of have to put that line in the sand and say, hey, are we going to make a change or not? So. Uh, like our effort, we just got to execute better. You mentioned Kennesaw State and giving them credit. In your opinion, what makes them such a good team that has led them to be undefeated in the ASUN? You know, I think this year is a little bit different than, you know, in years past. I thought their defense really extended some plays where, you know, it just, again, I think effort is, is a huge part of it. And they gave a great effort. Uh, and what happens is when they extend rallies, if you're not willing to, you know, take those opportunities and put that ball away, you know, the upper hand goes to them. So uh, defensively, I thought they did a nice job. I, I, I wish we would have done a better job, uh, you know, just adding a little bit of pressure at the net blocking. And, uh, you know, we let that one kind of get away from us. And so you'll learn from it and uh, we'll move forward tomorrow. Such a fine line when you're playing against a good team. Uh, that, that second set, though, was a positive step for your team. I mean, that's that fine line, you, you were able to get the win. Yeah, you know, and, and our team has battled. You know, I, I don't question our effort. I mean, like I said, I, I think the second set showed that. I thought we played really well in the first set. And, you know, obviously just gave away too many points. Uh, you know, I thought their fans would probably, uh, uh, you know, help them out quite a bit today. And, and we just didn't do enough to get our fans kind of going with it. And so, um, you know, I think ultimately you've got a good team, a well-coached team there, you know. I have no doubt that as we kind of progress through the next couple weeks, we'll learn from this and, and, and be ready to go for them. Well, the good and the bad news as we take a look at the final stats, you get to uh, kind of rebound hopefully quickly, but the bad news is it's a pretty good team coming in here tomorrow night in Liberty. Yeah, you know, uh, that's kind of how the, the uh, conference stacked up for us, you know, right out of the gate. But, you know, as I said, we need a couple more weeks to get everybody back and healthy, but unfortunately the schedule says we've got to play tomorrow. And with that, you know, I believe that uh, with what we have, we're ready, you know, and we go out there and execute, we can win a match, uh, you know, regardless of who it is. I think, uh, you know, Liberty's a great team, but, you know, I like our chances tomorrow, and I like what, uh, you know, our team continues to do as far as fight. We just got to execute a little bit better. Tough luck. Uh, tough loss tonight. Good luck tomorrow night. Lipscomb will take on Liberty. That'll be a 6.30 start uh, Central Time. It'll be on ESPN+. Plus. But if you're in the Nashville area, come on out to Allen Arena for that one. And for all your Lipscomb volleyball news, go to LipscombSports.com.